Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to either enable or disable untrusted font blocking on your Windows 10 computer. So this feature provides just a global setting to prevent applications from loading untrusted fonts. So basically an untrusted font is defined as anything that's located outside of the font directory on your main local drive. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Please note that you will have to be an administrator as well as running a version of Windows higher than home edition. So professional, enterprise, education, that sort of thing. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in local group policy. That's my should come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and just open that up. So once you have group policy open here, you want to go expand underneath computer configuration. You want to double click on the administrative templates folder. So double click on that. Don't do the one underneath user configuration. Do the one underneath computer configuration like you see here. So once you've done that for administrative templates, do the same thing for the system folder. And now you want to locate something that says mitigation options. And left click on that. Now on the right side there should be something that says untrusted font blocking. Go ahead and double click on that. So now you have a couple different options here to go with. If you want to turn it on or enable it, that is going to block untrusted fonts and log events. So if you're turning it off, so not configured and disabled are just generally the default options there. If you enable this, you're going to be blocking untrusted fonts and log events. So pretty straightforward here and you want to set mitigation options to block untrusted fonts and log events too and then select OK. Once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. Restart your computer and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.